and an almost complete reversal from last week when I installed the NVIDIA Gemini R400 exhaust on my 21 Type R and I KE tuned my 22 Civic Sport. I'm gonna be throwing Honda Data Flash Pro at my Type R and I'm gonna be installing FunctionWorks dual exhaust on my 11th Gen 22 Honda Civic Sport. I'm gonna kick it off with the Type R, but before I can tune it, I have one more mod to install. I have a couple packages here from PRL, but in today's video, we're only gonna be focusing on this top one. In the box, we have silicone hose, a ring clamp. I have no idea what this is called, but when we get to it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And a race mouth housing for the intake. Oh, this thing's so small, I almost forgot it was in there. The jailbreaker. But the first thing I need to do is I need to replace the street mouth housing with the race mouth housing. I need a Phillips head screwdriver to replace these clamps. I need an Allen wrench to remove this MAF sensor. I need another Allen wrench to remove this MAF housing. And this is that part I was telling you, I don't know what it's called. We need to replace this. Very easy install. I'm gonna first apologize for the noise in the background. It is the heater. It is like 10 degrees outside. It's like 20 mile an hour winds. And uh, I'm gonna keep the heat on. So here we have the Function Works dual exhaust. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do any unboxing. Tater is actually helping me out today and he kind of jumped the gun and kind of put it all together on the ground for me already. And as you can see, all of the wrapping is over there. It came wrapped very well. I was actually pretty impressed. In that box are titanium tips. In the bag we have some bolts and some gaskets. Here we have a muffler flange kit and a driver's side bumper garnish, which we're not gonna need that because we have the diffuser. My only worry is with the exhaust tips is that they're not gonna come out far enough and I don't want it to melt my diffuser. But first things first, we're gonna have to remove three nuts and bolts, quite a few hangers, which I've already removed this exhaust once before. It's a very easy removal. So I'm just gonna blow through it real quick. Now that the factory exhaust is removed, we need to hang this bracket so we can make room for the driver's side part of the exhaust. It needs to come up here and it looks like it fits right about there. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mark the holes with a Sharpie. Okay, so here we have our markings. What we have to do is we have to drill these out and then put pop rivets in. Actually, Taylor went to the hardware store and grabbed, why are you out of it? I'm trying to put I you in. in there. You don't want it in it? No. <laughs> Tater, he's helping me out today. He doesn't want to be in the video, unfortunately. But he ran to the hardware store and picked up a pop rivet gun because we have to put, what, five in? We have five or six pop rivets in there. That's the best place we figured out where to mount it, and it actually looks like it's probably from the Touring dual exhaust. Same bracket, pretty much. So, now it's time to drill holes. Real quick, we ended up redoing this up here just because we found a better way, but we're not gonna be able to put this one here because there's way too much goop, and I don't even know if I can get a drill up in there. All right, now we're gonna install the rivets. We're just gonna line up the holes. The bracket is riveted on. I highly recommend if you're gonna do this yourself, remove the rear bumper. We were unable to get any rivets in either of these two spots or right here. In fact, I highly recommend you weld it on there. Don't rivet it on there. 
So eventually I'm gonna have this welded on there, but for now we're just gonna keep it like it is. And it's pretty good. I mean, it moves a little bit, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. just gonna turn around and get right back on the highway again. sounds much louder it just I don't know why but it sounds louder I like it all right I think blues exhaust is almost done Let's head back to the shop. All right, so now it's time to put the exhaust on. We're gonna put it on piece by piece and we're gonna start with the front pipe. Not the actual front pipe, but the front pipe. First, you wanna make sure you put the gasket on. What brand is that watch you're wearing? Samsung. Mm -hmm. Where do I buy this said product? <laughs> Where do I buy that light that's on your head? www.odelphi.com. Use my code 717 project for 10% off. for the T-pipe. Gasquito. What'd you do? The gasket just cut me. Oh. Woo! Oh, you're deep, too.
see a band aid, it wasn't there in the beginning. Yep, see if he did it right or not. Let's do it. We're gonna go right into sport mode. I'm not even messing around. How much horsepower I gained, I have no idea. It sounds really good, very to little no drone inside the cabin. Now I will say this, on that cold start, it was rattling my windows and my door of my house. Now she kinda sounds like she looks. She looks mean, and she's starting to sound mean. Now the front plate is next. I actually thought that was gonna be with the exhaust, but unfortunately it wasn't. So I ordered that. That'll be in an upcoming video. And I also ordered a downpipe from RV6. That has not shipped yet, so I'm not sure when that'll be coming, but as soon as that gets here, we're gonna marry them all together, see what it sounds like, see what it feels like. I'm not burning the diffuser.